Okay, uh, I think we've come up with a, a nickname for it, and we're gonna call this the patient. And uh, maybe it's gonna be the patient number one, because eventually we'll wanna do a DC operator as well too. So anyways, let's take a little bit closer look at what we got. So uh, you've seen a couple stages before. What we've now done is we've added a on-off switch for safety on the outside. It's a lit switch. So when the circuit is off, the LED will be, or the whatever the bulb is, will be turned on um, in the configuration that we have. We've got two outlets that are energized all the time, and then we just got a 10 gauge uh, plug that's grounded. So the whole chassis is grounded, and we've already put it to the test and tested it. Works perfect. So we have a safe high voltage gate operator electrically, okay? Now let's talk about mechanically. Uh, we don't have a good chain as of yet, so I'm gonna put a, uh, a, a good chain on there um, and uh, that has less grease than the one that we had. We know we, our gear reducer has a little bit of a leak, but that's okay. If you take a look at the bottom, uh, we've added some LRF support, which is little rubber feet. And um, we, Danny, who's uh, behind the camera right now, got the uh, motor and the gear reducer on, and we have the uh, belt aligned. So that's good. We've got electrical turned on. Um, we've got new switches in here, and we've got that plugged up. Now, here's an interesting, a little unique uh, twist, among other things. Um, we have a little terminal strip here on the side. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, secondary side of the transformer and I'm gonna run one leg over to here, and then I'm gonna run one leg back to it, okay? And then that, what that'll do, and then probably put a switch in between. But what that'll allow us to do is test the incoming, or excuse me, uh, test the transformed, the reduced power uh, off of here, and um, run current through this to see how it does. So uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna run one leg here and then one leg back to it, and then our uh, multimeter is gonna complete the circuit, and we'll just be able to test current um, um, and probably in milliamps uh, there. So not only do we have the high voltage test that we're gonna be able to run 120 volts uh, and we're gonna test a couple of different characteristics. We're gonna test voltage and then we're also gonna be able to test current. Now, nine times out of 10, you would just grab your clamp meter on here and that would give you good voltage. We also have a test loop down here as well too. So that'll be able to test a current off there with a clamp meter there, a clamp meter here. We're gonna add a fuse here. We're gonna add a, a fuse block here. And what that'll allow us to do is actually use a digital multimeter with probes by breaking the circuit to test it here. Um, nothing special in here. We will hook up some accessories at some point. That'll probably be on a different test rig. But uh, this is gonna allow your guys to be able to come to my class and I'm gonna be able to run in through the basic diagnostics. If any technician will tell you that a good percentage of the time that they go out to test a gate operator, the first thing that they test um, is power. And my suggestion should be always what you test first. Um, uh, and, and that is uh, led into by asking questions if there's been any changes before you get on site so you know what you're prepared with. So we're gonna be able to test all of that on an older gate operator um, and we'll be able to uh, get the basics out of the way. We're gonna be able to test incoming power, incoming current, under, under load and without a load. We're gonna be, test, be able to test um, at the board and at the motor. And then we're also gonna be able to test the secondary and the primary side of the actual transformer and what to look for in that. And then we may tie in another circuit here too. So this is the patient. We are about 75% done and then we will be uh, ready to go. This will be a good test rig. We're gonna add some handles. We're gonna finish the wiring. Um, we're gonna add a new chain for the from the gear reducer up to the limit shaft. And um, that'll be it for this test rig. So if there is anything that you think that I've missed or I need to add to this, uh, now's a good time to tell me and uh, we'll add it. So say goodbye to the uh, patient for the day.